Hello everyone, hope you're all okay. Right, I'm just coming on. Can you remember back in January, the lovely Shayla Carter sent me this wonderful die, the butterfly die. Well, I don't think I've shown you these, although now I've got them out, I'm not sure whether I have or not. But anyway, I'm going to show you again. Apologies if I have. But um, so I've used just used some cereal box, and put two layers on, cut them out, and then I run them through my embossing these two embossing folders. And I, I, I actually did these the, the day after I'd received the die and I'm sure I haven't shown you these. Um, so I ran them through those and then I've used these, the Inca Gold in copper and the Inca Gold in silver and the metallic Cosmic Shimmer metallic gold. They're the ones that I've used. I've only done four. Should be two little bodies, but <clears throat> and I just love them so much. And my brain is having a hard time remembering whether I've shown you them, but I don't I don't think I have. I just love these so much. Thank you ever so much, Shayla. And I've gone over them on both sides because that's just something that I I like to do. But yeah, I gave it um, <coughs> excuse me, coat of gesso, black gesso, and then just went over it. Just put my finger in, and you know how it goes. Just went over it, and I just think they're beautiful. Think they're so lovely. No idea what I'm going to use them on yet because I've been a little bit sidetracked doing the painty paper things for the past several weeks so there's that one I mean they're lovely this was the one that was in the the box they're lovely just as a plain butterfly but um, you know if you just put a little bit of put it in an embossing folder and put some shimmer on it it just makes them look a bit different so yeah, thank you ever so much, Shayla. They're, they're just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love those. And they've been sat in the drawer. I thought, oh, I'll do that because I've just sort of tidied the desk area up. But everywhere else is still a tip because I just can't stop painting. Although I've finished the Febri Jelly series now, I'm like, well, I could have carried on because I've just, I, I'm just addicted to it. I'm a jelly plate junkie, I really am. I don't know whether I said it the other day when I was mentioning jelly plate junkie. Is there a Facebook group? I know there's a, a junk journal junkies. I, I, I just not that I'm on Facebook, but it, um, I, I think it's a good name for a, a, a jelly printing group, jelly plate junkies. Because <laughs> that's just what I feel like. I'm like, yes, I love it. <laughs> I'm hooked. But yeah, so I'm I'm still messing about with paint. Well, I'm, no, I'm not now because I've put my jelly plate away, put all my paints away, sorted those out, put all those away. But I've since my final Febri jelly video, I must have another. Um, well, I'll just say quite a few extra sheets. <laughs> paper that I will show you another day if anybody's interested <laughs> some of them they, they need finishing off just let me pop those in that drawer um but oh I just can't stop and I'm like I'm supposed to be tidying this room up of all the tools and the big box of blooming lace and bubble wrap and I'm looking down on the floor all, all the stuff that you saw me use over the past month anyway put those in there put those in there um 
but and I haven't got that far yet but I, I thought right I'll just do this video now I've got my rubbish bag on the floor I'm gonna have a good sort out in this box of stuff and maybe throw some little bits away yay so that I can put it back in its place where it lives and hoover the floor and oh my days um yeah thank you to everybody that said you like this on my video the other day this when i'd finished the last of the pepper jelly videos i can't remember what i've said now because i've just done this once only you know you know when you think you've press the button and you haven't yeah uh so i can't remember what i've said but um th yeah thank you for everybody that said you like this i did it's one of the wallpaper sample sheets that i've been having as the the wipe off sheets and that and then i just carried on putting some more bits of paint on and then i thought well just with my brayer basically and i thought oh i still want to paint all right we'll get the stencil while well, the stencils were still out so i just stenciled on it just with pinks blues and purples and it is lovely and then that was the other side i don't know what i'm going to do with it yet i did think about probably laminating some of it and having like a laminate laminated journal but sometimes sometimes you can laminate uh, and anybody that's got oh, some more sheets there look to be done anybody that's got a laminate will probably know what i mean but sometimes when you do things in the laminate where you've got like a you know a fold you get like and like a, a bubble underneath it and it looks as though it's coming away and it, it tends to put me off a little bit so uh, but I think you can get different laminate pockets can't you different thicknesses and that so whether the I would think probably the, the pockets that I've got are just the cheapest ones so they're probably just for the thinnest of paper and I probably like for this with it being quite thick paper and got paint on probably need a thicker laminating pouch. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet because it's a bit thin for a journal cover but it's pretty to look at that's all that i need in my life is pretty papers to look at this one looks black it isn't black this was a mixed paints up and again this was on oh no this was on i've got a load of i don't know what you call them are they file folders file i don't know it's like that anyway file wallets or had a load of those given me several years ago um, I've spoke about it before from somebody whose office was closing down so I was lucky enough to get loads of stuff and there was one lurking at my reach so I used that as I started to use that as a drop sheet and then I just thought oh right well we'll turn that one dark <laughs> so it was the um, I don't know one of my pinks and one of my blues mixed together and it's really it isn't showing it up but it's a really lovely deep purple um and then there was some lighter stuff left and i really don't know what i did oh i can't show you them uh now I'm going to have to show you another day what I did that with. But I've got like, you know, the like mini roller thing. Uh, what they call it? Is it a radiator roller that you do paint radiators with? Well, I didn't get it for that. I think I bought it or could have picked it up from... No, I don't think it was from the scrap store. Anyway, I've got this roller thing with sponge on and I ended up wrapping some punchinella around it and tying it on and... Ah, oh, that's what that's what they will be then. I'll show you that another day. Yeah, like that. Not like that. Like that. You have to do the noise. 
so that was that one finish that off sometime and then oh, i've got loads of them hung up actually <laughs> There's that one, still see the stripey underneath. There's that bit there, and there's another bit under there, and oh lord. Right, talking twaddle, so I'm going to love and leave you. Have a lovely weekend, everyone. And I shall speak to you soon. I uh, will probably come back on at some point and show you all the other mountain of painted papers that I've been messing about with. You must all be sick to death of seeing painted papers. No, I, I don't think you are. <laughs> if you was, then you wouldn't watch, would you? So anyway, thanks again, Shayla, ever so, ever so much for that. I hope you like these little butterflies there. They are really lovely because they just look like metal now, don't they? Yeah, I think so anyway. Right, take care, love you all loads. Bye.